Hey everyone, it's March 3rd, and that means that if today is your birthday, you share it with Robert Joseph Silveria Jr., a serial killer known as the Boxcar Murderer, who claimed as many as 28 victims between 1981 and 1996, and that is him right up there. Silveria was born in Redwood City, California in 1959, and trouble started for him at the age of 11. He began skipping school and experimenting with drugs, leading to his expulsion. The next year, he was caught robbing a neighbor's home, and the family moved to try and find a fresh start, but it didn't work as Silveria began using drugs heavily when he got to high school. He left home at the age of 21 and began to wander the country by hopping rail cars, but sought help for his issues at a mental health facility in Vancouver, Washington. He was reportedly told, everybody has problems, take a number and sit down. Silveria has said this fueled his rage later in life, with him repeating, take a number, over and over to himself like a mantra when he was getting psyched up to commit a murder. As he traveled, Silveria joined the Freight Train Riders of America in 1991, a boxcar gang that preys upon transients who ride the rails. Railroad officials claim the group is an urban myth, but the deaths of at least 14 victims and possibly as many as 100 say otherwise. The FTRA is known as a group of homicidal hobos who rob, steal from, and beat their victims at train yards throughout the country, stealing their identities to commit welfare fraud. They also traffic in narcotics and violently take revenge on anyone they feel has done them wrong. As a member of the gang, Silveria was an enforcer, killing transients who had run afoul of the FTRA. His murders spanned 15 years across multiple states, with most just being chalked up as accidents or suicides by authorities. Hundreds of people die each year near railroad tracks, and investigators rarely put much thought into the deaths of transients on the fringes of society. That's why he was able to kill for so long. But in 1996, a detective in Oregon realized that a death he was investigating was tied to a homeless encampment populated by the FTRA, and Silveria was arrested. He confessed to killing 28 victims and pleaded guilty to murders in Oregon, Kansas, and Florida, but was never tried in California since he was already serving consecutive life sentences without the possibility of parole, where he remains today. Silveria has said that he fears that someday the FTRA will take revenge and kill him for having spoken to the authorities about their activities. I hope they don't do that to me. If this was your birthday, hope you had a great day. If you know somebody whose birthday it is today, send them this video so they can find out all about their birthday twin. And to Robert Joseph Silveria Jr., I have to say... Happy birthday, you bastard.